Israeli health ministry has admitted cases of illegal organ harvesting from dead people, including Palestinians in the 1990s. Well, the revelation came in a newly released interview with the country's former chief pathologist, given in 2000. For 55 years, this was the only place in Israel and the Palestinian territories authorized to carry out autopsies. But what happened behind the doors of the Abu Kabir Forensic Institute is now in question. Its former head admitted organs had been taken from the dead, sometimes without the consent of their families. Yehuda Hiss told an American researcher that skin, corneas, heart valves and bones had come not only from the bodies of Palestinians, but also from Israeli soldiers, Israeli citizens and even foreign workers. The doctor refuses to speak to the media, but his claims have been denied by the Ministry of Health, which insists the organ removal was for medical purposes only. The subject of your inquiry is a matter that passed into history years ago. The institute performed an organ harvesting procedure for the purposes of medical treatment that took no note of the provenance of the cadavers. And yet the Israeli army has confirmed the practice took place, although it says it ended a decade ago. An advisor to former Israeli Prime Minister Ariel Sharon disputes the accusations. I know of no case that uh, uh, organs were harvested intentionally from Palestinians, you know, so that they could serve for organs. This is far-fetched. And uh, the timing when they, you know, they publicize it, now it comes to live again, the story, just before Christmas. That's the excellent time if you want to have a blood libel. The doctor made his claims nine years ago, but the American academic to whom he spoke chose to make the remarks public now because of a row between Israel and Sweden over a newspaper report. Swedish journalist Donald Bostrom reported that Israel was killing Palestinians for their organs, a charge that Israel has denied and called anti-Semitic. Bostrom was unaware of Dr. Hiss's claims. I was investigating one year. That year I had a computer list containing 133 Palestinians killed by Israelis without trial and with murder. And uh, out of those 133, there was 59 taken into Israel against international law. Israel called on Sweden to condemn the article. Stockholm refused, citing freedom of speech. Dr. Hiss was removed from his position five years ago. Israel's health ministry now says all harvesting today is done with the permission of the families. But the latest claims are likely to generate anger and suspicion in the Arab and Muslim world over Israel's treatment of Palestinians. Paulus Lear, RT, Israel.